Well, let's take a look at the inside of a Bally Astrocade controller. When you take these apart, you want to be very careful. There's some plastic overlays that are about right here. Go across this part and right up here. This helps keep the uh, wires and stuff insulated in there. So be careful when you take this thing apart. So we got four screws we got to take out here. case nice and easy Just like so All right there's that plastic piece I was telling about it wraps right across the side of the uh, console control switches here and also sits up here behind the uh, the trigger mechanism as well so this one will be careful of when you take it apart but if you notice the wires in here are very very fine they're very easy to break so you got to be careful with them it's a pretty unique controller inside how they've designed this see back here in the back here's your contact pads for your, up, for your left right up and down and of course here's your trigger mechanism right here this plastic piece right here pushes against your trigger function and then right here's your potentiometer Or playing games like uh, Gunfight, Dame Your Gun, uh, Sea Wolf. Uh, there's also a Clowns and a Breakout game for this. Nice close up of the pot there. A lot of times, what goes wrong with these controllers, especially the pots, they get dirty over time, like the old Atari 2600, 2600 paddles do. And what I do is I'll get some isopropyl alcohol. I'll get a little uh, eyedropper like this, get some alcohol, I'll turn this controller on its side right here, and I'll put like two drops right through this crack right here, where the terminals go in, and then turn the pot back and forth like, you know, 10 or 15 different you know, times, get it all cleaned off in there, plug it back in and give it a try, and it should be nice and smooth once again. Now, I've not had a chance yet to see what size a pot is on here to see about finding a replacement pot, but it looks pretty similar to the pot used in the Atari 2600. It may be a different resistance value. So if I ever do a pot replacement on one of these, I'll uh, look it up and uh, find out what that pot is. Anyway, when you put it back together, make sure that you put this little insulated plastic piece back in. Don't want to leave that off. Stuff it in there. Stuff it in there, put that back there like so. Yeah, where's my trigger? Hey, where'd the trigger go? There's the trigger. I'm gonna set the trigger back in its hole. Like so. If you notice this thing likes to pop apart on you. There we go. And then put the case halves back together, nice and easy. There we go. And tighten the screws down. There we go. That's what the inside of a Bally Escherkade controller looks like. Thanks for watching.